Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the uh, Gong Du campaign uh, where we are playing as the Yellow Turbans. We are 38 turns deep and uh, things are just getting started, man. Things are just getting started. Nothing is gentler it. than water, yet nothing can withstand its force. Power lies in paradox. Interesting. The quietest so, so far I have to say that change. I don't know if it's just you the yellow turbans, but the yellow turban units kind of put China's the regular benefit. units of the campaign to shame a little bit. Is fleeting, like the, is the regular fleeting. campaign units kind of have some interesting In formations or something times, like that, but only the really like, I don't know, man. I'm really, really liking the true. yellow turbans like way more than I thought I would. Uh, they've been a lot of fun. All right, so let's catch up. Very recently, we Fort just China. attacked and we put a real hurting on this Liu Bei army. I think we killed two generals. Uh, and yeah, oh no, we, excuse me, we killed all three generals. <laughs> and we just like, we just really savaged this poor army. Uh, I don't think we didn't kill them nearly as good as I'd hoped we would have, but. Um, but yeah, this army is still ready to go. I think I'd be Resist quite tempted if, if I were to be attacked. Be pretty tempted uh, to see what. Uh, I don't know. I maybe I'd fight that if they came after me. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we just uh, think we're ready to go ahead and end a turn. Um, we also just uh, concluded a war here at Bashi. We we took Bashi. We took some heavy losses taking it. That was actually a pretty tough battle just taking that. And uh, there's all this area to the south is all very tempting right now. I like to kind of expand south. One thing that I think is a flaw in this game, and I hope that they address it. Oh, okay, well. Uh, we are being attacked by Liu Bei. Uh, it's Liu Bei and that he's being reinforced by these guys. Let's actually retreat for now. Let's see if he's going to chase after us. He is not. He also left Shang Yong looks like undefended. It's pretty interesting. Okay. I was tempted to go take that. I was very tempted to go to, to take that battle. But I'd rather play it safe. Uh, let's see. Bang Yan's declaring war. Uh, we retreated with uh, from that battle. I want to play it safe. I don't want to just throw around... My, my faction leader and uh, my generals are really important to me. I don't think I just want to throw them around like they're nothing. Now, the question is, can I quickly go take Shang Yong? Hmm. It's my territory here. I wonder if uh, the Han Empire is actually planning on taking it back. I don't want to initiate a war right now with uh, with Dong Min, especially there's motherfucking uh, Lu Bu up there. I don't really want to fuck with Lu Bu at the moment. He is uh, he is scary to say the least. Uh, Impossible. I don't know what this Han. You know, for now, what I want to do is they're retraining. It would be nice if I could get some retraining of my own in here. Let's go retrain my men. Um, they should retrain in like one or two turns. They're, my my retraining is actually going up quite a bit. I've gotten pretty good at retraining, probably because my cities are upgraded, that sort of thing. Let's go with that. Um, all right, let's go ahead and upgrade this. So this is in Hanjong. Let's go upgrade this. This will give us more population growth and more income from peasantry. So let's go with that. It's pretty cheap building to build as well. And let's see what's going on here in the south. If we must. So this Jia Long guy has has pretty. He has a pretty beefy area over here. He's got at least one, two, three, four, five territories or something. He's uh he's got a little he's got quite a little territory over here. I am at your disposal. I'm I'm tempted to go fight him. If I want to fight him, especially with this army, I'm definitely going to need to re retrain this army as fast as I can. Uh, we could attack over at Chengdu. Would be probably the most likely target. Um, but consolidating the west before heading east probably makes the most sense. 
Um, I'm a little bit nervous about my north here too, but there's nothing really I can do. I, I definitely don't trust Dong Min, but I can't leave this area undefended with Liu Bei. All right, so we're going to retrain this turn. And uh, yeah. Oh, can I, can I get any different units actually? Looks like I can. So I think that the Reclaimers are better units than the Yellow Turban Spearmen. They have higher melee power and higher morale and way higher range toughness, which is interesting. Uh, let's see. I don't, can't get any better cavalry in that unit. What about with Zhang Kai's unit? Uh, this looks like the exact same. That's because they're both veterans. Nothing really I can do there. What about uh, this guy, Shu He, the Brewer? <laughs> Oh, he can get some cavalry of his own now, but nothing really too great. Kind of tempted to get a, a Militia of Virtue here. Uh, the Militia of Virtue is uh, quite impressive, I have to say, and my limited exposure to them. But we'll wait on that for now. Uh, let's go ahead and end a turn. I want to see if Liu Bei comes back. Looks like Liu Bei is holed up in the sh in the town of Shangyang, so we could probably take that lumber yard from him. Um, and then we we know that the Han Empire ain't gonna do shit, right? It looks like Dong Min uh, is off doing some random shit. Uh, all right. So we can actually deepen our relationship between Gong Du and one of our other guys. Uh, we could. Relation, deepen the relationship between him and and Shu He. Let's actually do the relationship with him and Zhang Kai. Let's do that. So they're gonna really like each other now. All right, let's go attack. Oh, this army can actually make it. Let's go attack Shang Yong. Oh, somebody told me to um, to try the R button. All right, so this garrison is very weak. Um. Let's go uh, take this battle. We're going to have to fight this ourselves, I believe. Actually, probably delegating would probably be better for us. Um, let's try delegating. Let's see how many losses I take in a delegate. Let's just try it. Let's see. 315. Ah, it's not too bad. I feel like that could have been a lot worse. All right. I just wanted to see how many losses I would take from that. Uh, so we auto-resolved and took Shang Yong. Uh, took them from uh, Liu Bei. We managed to take Shang Yong without pissing off uh, Dong Min as well, which is nice. Oh, we can recruit He Man. He Man, <laughs> the most powerful. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. He Man's armor. Yeah, let's get He Man. A thousand dollars for He Man, dude. He's fucking He Man. Of course, we need He Man. <laughs> Uh, okay, we gained a bunch of ancillaries here. Okay. China is people. All right, so we now have the Shang Yong Lumber Yard. Uh, we're still going to need to retrain. It's going to take us a little while. But uh, that's some nice income and another territory. I don't know what it is, but I feel like my retraining is, is really sped up for some reason. I'm not sure why. All right, let's go see what we can grab now. What kind of building does unlock? Dock warehouses, peasants, labor communes, 100% income from commerce. So this would be a tech, a bunch of buildings that increase income. Uh, this would be a bunch of farming, I believe. This one allows tribal horse herders. That would give less income for a lot of different things. It's more income or more satisfaction for scholars. Uh, what should we grab here? And this is uh, for fishing and trading and stuff. I have that port up there we could go grab. I mean, I'm going to have to grab all this stuff eventually anyway. What are these buildings? Oh, these are garrisons. And okay, interesting. Very interesting. 
I'd really like to grab these guys, these venerable woo. Let's go grab that. I want I just want the venerable woo, honestly. <laughs> I want those swordsmen look fucking badass. Uh all right. So these guys are ready to retrain in one turn. The cavalry are gonna take a little bit longer. And then we're gonna send them over to Chengdu. Initiate a war here, and let's see how that goes. It looks like based on the map, it looks like they only have three settlements. They maybe have more than that. It's it's hard to say. All right, and we're gonna we're still trying to pick a fight with Liu Bei. Um, nothing really I can do here. I could potentially swap out some of these yellow turban spearsmen for, for reclaimers or something. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that just yet, though. I think it's a little bit early, and it's a bad time to do it right now with Liu Bei right there. If I can kill Liu Bei, that would kick him out. There'd be really no territories close by to worry about from him. And then I could resume. Uh, that would just kind of conclude this my war with him. Is pointless. Let it end. Uh, you started it, motherfucker. No. You insult us. Get the hell out of here. Bring me that shit. I'm coming for you, buddy. Why do why does Liu Bei, why do Liu Bei and I why do we always end up fighting? <laughs> He's like never once been my ally. All right, sorry, really thirsty. For the people. So this army is here. Um, these yellow sky heralds are still retraining. I'm not too worried about the yellow sky heralds. I don't think these guys are very good. They're like a to me these guys are like a worse uh, ver militia of virtue, honestly. <laughs> Um, I could edge closer to Shang Yong. Oh, we fixed it. It was the R button. It was the R button. Okay. Uh, well, there's a lot of men waiting for me right there. Can I encamp? No. Mountains peaks offer challenge so that we may learn to rise. We could try an ambush. I don't think that's going to work. Let's pull back. Outwards and on. Because they, they got a lot of shit going on. Eh, maybe I should attack Ju Jun over here. Ever I don't know. Maybe we should just take peace with him. Hard to say. I, I kind of was a little indecisive over there. Um. All right. How is this army doing? Oh, this army's pretty much ready to roll. All right. Let's go move this army closer to Chengdu. I'm so glad my guys are not running around like Sonic the Hedgehog anymore. All right. Um. So we're going to go attack Chengdu pretty soon with this army. Oh. Oh. I was like, what the hell was that? I thought that was really strange. <laughs> oh, that's not... Hey, well, that's not the last strange time we'll have with uh, with this game with audio. I can tell you that. Uh, let's see. So this guy, six resolve, six authority. What if we gave that guy to a? So that says for the lords of virtue. Who is? Uh, let's take a look at my court real fast. So these are my these are my lords of virtue. They have to be the lords of virtue, right? And that's. Fa Yuan. And this is Fa Yuan, is he not? No. Where the hell is Fa Yuan? What about this guy? Less giving me 10% character experience. Where the hell is Fa Yuan? Let's find him. There he is. That's giving 10 satisfaction faction wide, I guess. Now we give six satisfaction. So I guess I don't want to do that. Um, what is this guy using? All right, we're going to switch the officer out for the legalist fanatic. Because this guy's the faction leader. That will give satisfaction to the entire, fa the entire, uh, everybody in it. That'd be pretty good, I think. I should also consider uh, doing something with He Yi. Uh, he is a healer. Look at this armor. 
enables mighty knockback. This armor is ridiculous. He's using the family spear. Uh, we could probably give this guy a pretty bitchin' army himself. So that's a, a legendary healer. Is that what I need in this army? Sprout ever so I have a veteran, a scholar, and a veteran. Yeah, I need, I'm going to put he Yi in this army is what I need to do. We're going to end another turn right there. Oh, shit. Oh, here they come. Getting attacked here by Liu Bei. We're going to retreat because I'm going to try to get a battle with knights. I'm going to try to use a knight battle and single them out. Oh, okay. So Liu Bei is all on his own. All right. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. All right. Good thing I retreated. They didn't have enough campaign range to to finish this, the encirclement of Gong Du. So now they're going to have to face Gong Du in single battle. All right, looks like we're at war with Liu Dai now. Who is uh, Liu Dai? Is he anywhere near me? Where is Liu Dai? Way the hell over there. Okay, well, nice to know we're at, we're at war with you, I guess. <laughs> Remain honest. All right, so we have a battle looming over here with Liu Bei, Zhang Fei, and Guan Yu. What level are these guys? Level four, level three, level four. And my guys are level six, level five, level four. All right, time to fucking go. Let's do it, Liu Bei. You're not getting out of this one. Still says I'm going to be defeated. What 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 do I have to do to make it so it's going to be victory? <laughs> All right. Uh so they have a lot of these G militias. My troops, I believe, are better. Our generals, I think their generals are kitted out with this crazy custom shit that they're that these guys get because that's the whole thing about Liu Bei is he gets these crazy generals. So um might not want to take a duel. I might not uh, taking a duel could be risky. I could throw I could be throwing away one of my generals, honestly. I think the only general I'd I'd even consider putting into a duel here would be uh Gong Du. It's because he's got his crazy weapon now and he's pretty leveled up. So like maybe he could take on somebody, but man, it seems like an awful risk for not much reward. All right. Um Large, large battle. Let's see. I could deploy my cavalry here. It says that they're hidden. I think I'd rather keep my cavalry with me because I think I, I just want them near me. I don't think we want to just do that. I think we want to keep our forces mostly together in this battle. Let's form a core of our yellow turban swordsmen, which are not fantastic units. Let's be honest. They're not bad, but they are not fantastic. These men here. And we've got my chanters and these yellow sky heralds. We're going to put a general everywhere. And uh, let's see. We've got a lot of spears on this flank. Let's keep my cavalry on the right flank here. And let's go ahead and group up my men. And let's uh, start the battle. See, they've also got oath sworn. But we also have oath sworn. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and edge up my forces. All right, what do you got for me, Liu Bei? He has a lot of militia. My troops are strictly better in infantry, in infantry fighting compared to these G militias. No doubt about that. These are the guys I'm really scared of. <laughs> these are the guys I'm scared of. So he's got 21 melee power, 60 melee toughness, 
He's got more morale than Gongdu. Gongdu has 15 melee power. I've got higher range toughness. All right. I watched, I literally watched that one happen. I don't know, I, I don't know why this happens anymore, dude. I have no idea. At least I caught it. All right, resume the battle. But yeah, I was comparing stats. Pretty scared of these generals. I don't know. Challenging Zhang Fei. Zhang Fei actually seems uh, a lot weaker than Guan Yu. He's got higher melee power though. I don't know. Maybe I just shouldn't duel these guys. <laughs> Maybe that's the smart play. All right, what are these, what are these guys telling me? It actually gives me better armor. Uh, let's go ahead and move up my chanters. I wish these guys had a loose formation. All right, let's go move up these uh, air archers. So these units also have shields. We're going to keep them forward as much as we can. Okay. Let's go move my archers forward. We're going to advance just a hair more here. I want to keep my protector of the land out of archer fire as much as I can. Those units are not intended to go into the archer fire. Okay, let's go get my cavalry over here on top of this ridge. How much, what does this guy got? This guy's got 25 melee power, decent morale. I don't know, dude. If they challenge, if one of their generals challenges me to a duel, I'm probably going to take it just for the, just for the sake of taking it. <laughs> Who am I to say no? I don't know if we're likely to win a, a prolonged archer engagement with the forces arrayed before us. I could say it's possible. That's a melee damage buff, so that's not going to help me here. Okay. I think my archers are just about in position. We are likely to exchange fire with them now. Try to shoot these Yi marksmen first. Taking some heavy losses right now. The Yi marksmen are pretty savage. They've got 61 kills already. Go send up this cavalry unit. Keep advancing these guys as much as we can. Forward. I think we've sufficiently dealt with that unit. Let's go aim here. Yeah, it really seems like we've dealt with our morale issues. These guys are hanging in there with very few, like 65, 60 men left. They've been decimated and they're still hanging in there. So I got to, I got to commend my yellow turban unit. When you start off the campaign as the yellow turban, your morale is shit. All right. They are advancing. Um, I probably wasn't, I'm probably a little off foot because I wasn't thinking about it. Um, let's see.
Okay, I get my generals over on this side. Trying to pull back my chanters here. I didn't want my chanters to get into a fight. I want my chanters to provide the buff as long as they can. Send them in here. Send these guys in here. Send these guys in here. Let's just go charge here. I'm not seeing what's happening on the other side of the battle. Uh, Looks like my faction leader is fight or my faction leader is fighting Liu Bei. Charge here. All right, I'm gonna bring these protected land around. My cavalry is fighting their cavalry. I don't. I can't really watch and see how that's going to go. Um, please go fight Zhang Fei here. Oh man! Kill Zhang Fei. I honestly still hate Zhang Fei from the previous campaign. See, this would be really fucking annoying if I just lose the battle just because of their generals. That would be infuriating to me. I really hope that's not how this goes. What is this unit doing? If that happens, I'm going to be pretty upset. <laughs> why? Why are you not fighting Zhang Fei? It's not a duel. Everybody gang up on Zhang Fei. Kill this motherfucker right now. All of you. Okay. Killed one. We killed Zhang Fei, at least while, well, you know, killed him. As you know, you never really kill Zhang Fei. Okay. All of my generals are now attacking uh, Guan Yu. Except some of them are decided to run away. I don't know why they do that. Um, fuck that. No, he's about to go down and Shu He is hurt. Guan Yu's trying to game the system here. So that... No, thanks. I see no reason to just let you kill my general. I like my general. Besides, we can, we can very easily gang up on you here. <laughs> Guan Yu's got 184 kills. Perfect. Are we back? I think we're back. Okay. Audio is going to be one of those nights. One of those nights tonight, apparently. Okay, I think my generals have are whooping up on Guan Yu. Looks like he's broken. All right. Took out Guan Yu. Now we're going to take out Liu Bei. I do. What do you think the odds are that any of these generals are actually going to die? Shu, he's been defeated. You bastard. Kill Liu Bei. Oh, well, we definitely just knocked him off his horse. <laughs> no, Shu He. How could you kill Shu He? They went out of so my generals just went out of control. Gong Du and Zhang Kai just lost their shit. The time has come. And then All right, what do we have left here? Is it just these cavalry units? God. Okay. Man, that's that's exactly... So what happened in this battle is like exactly the reason why I kind of didn't want to fight. <laughs> kind of didn't want to fight Liu Bei, man. The 
We're going to go try to take out these cavalry units. The cavalry in my army sucks right now. These yellow turban horsemen are not good. They're just straight up not good. So my chanters are fighting this G militia, I guess. Uh, we got pretty, we got pretty beat up in this battle. Okay. Why do your generals not listen to you when you tell them to attack? Hello, can you guys hear me? Not my night for this. Not my night for this. This might be a really short episode. Uh, just to kind of try to deal with this shit. Might not be the longest episode ever. I also feel like some battles, maybe, you know what? I'll, I'll call this a win if I could just say that Zhang Fei is dead. Because goddamn, I still hate that guy. <laughs> All right, victory is ours. Uh, just a mess. Just a mess of a battle. Uh, I'm going to bet I didn't kill. I didn't kill any of them. I'm going to bet I didn't kill a single one. And I'm going to bet something else. I'm going to bet that Shu He is dead. That's what I'm going to bet. Let's see. Oh, no. It didn't. Okay. Well, Shu He lived. All right. So they all survived. Looks like Shu He is wounded. He suffered serious injuries. Wounds will heal over time. But these guys are uninjured. It looks like we injured all of them. They're all wounded in battle. All right. We also gained a lot of money from that. Let's go ahead and recruit. Defeated Liu Bei. Uh. Gained some money, wounded them. Now, dude, I can actually catch up with them right now. Hmm, will they even fight? Right now he's maimed. Wounded in death. I right, hope he'll be fun. And we gained, ooh, we gained a new horse. Uh, let's see. So he's using the exceptional red stallion. He's using the unique black elite. And this guy's wounded. All right, we'll worry about... I guess I can give the horse to the other army. Let's try to hunt down Liu Bei here. Let's try to hunt his ass down. This army will be destroyed if it loses the battle. So, uh, they're actually predicting a strong victory for us. Um... All right, let's go ahead and we're going to take this battle too. We're going to start this one. Their generals can appear, so I should be using my generals pretty hard. Maybe it was worthwhile to uh, to take that battle. Yeah, they've got no generals here to back them up at the moment. All right, we're gonna, what I wanna do here is I want to bum rush them and shoot them as much as I can. Uh, let's go get these spears in position. And these two units, these three units of horsemen. And this, these units will run up the hill. Okay. So my men are running up the hill. We've also got these men. We're gonna put them in a position. My archers are already opening fire here. Let's 
see. Alright, we're gonna swing my cavalry out this way and we're gonna launch and attack. Running my cavalry to the flank. It's going to take a while for my other troops to make it in here. Okay. Charge here. Let's go charge that saber cavalry right there. Kind of mobbed up on some of their infantry over here. Let's go charge the spear guard. Wipe out these saber cavalry. Uh, let's go send Gong Du to go use uh, this killing ground, I think. Can I do that? Yeah. Do that. Okay. Go collapse in on this flank. Collapse in here. Here, go charge down these uh, cavalry or these archers. We just kind of swarm them here. I think they're all gone. Yeah, GG. So is this going to be the end of Zhang Fei, Guan Yu, and Liu Bei? Did I kill them all? Did I do what Yuan Shu could never? I think I may have. These cavalry are kind of going hog wild. Um, my archers are still picking them off. Archers didn't really get any kills. This was all, this was an entirely melee fight. Move. Hurry, move. Go charge there. That unit's pretty much routed. All right, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty GG. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. They ran out of ammo very fast. Size victory. So, is this the end of them? Are are Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei dead? Or maybe they're just going to be like super wounded now. <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. It'd be awesome if we killed all of them, right? Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. I guess we just destroyed their army. So they're not dead. They're just destroyed. Right. From China. Sure. Toward glory. Whatever you say, game. Remain honest. Right. On the um, march. so we're gonna be retraining. I'd like to go take Shang Yong if possible. We'd really gain total control over this like valley here. We've made, in other words, we've made great friends with uh with Liu Bei and shit. My lord, right, I this, answer your request. That guy's retraining, so yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of while of retraining right now. For sure. All right, so that's we we concluded our affairs with Liu Bei. Next, we had to go take out this guy. We're both kind of wounded at the moment, so it's probably going to take a while. Yeah, four turns till retraining. It's going to take a while just to get my men back into shape. I almost wondered now might be a good time to actually bring some of these guys in. Let's actually trade out. I want to trade out these yellow sky heralds for the uh, militia of virtue. Oh, oh, no, 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 hang on, wrong unit. I don't like the yellow sky heralds at all. I'd much rather have a militia of virtue. And maybe I should trade out one of these yellow turban uh, warriors for something else. Hmm, not sure. I feel like more archers could never be bad because archers are just, for some reason, my archers always get crazy kills. Um. Ah, I could also get some of these reclaimers. 
the reclaimers have 139 upkeep um but they're definitely better than the yellow turban spearmen i guess we'll wait on that that's that's money we don't need to spend at the moment someday all right this army however is ready to go and go fight at chengdu we can go take uh, chengdu and begin a war down here i think this army might actually even be stronger than that army to the north with gongdu the generals are definitely weaker though no doubt about that all right let's go attack this guy has no friends so we're not too worried about that all right this is predicting a pyrrhic victory for us uh what kind of map are we dealing with here is this a city ah oh, it's an open field let's starve him out let's starve him out strike through no need to run in we've got plenty of battle supplies as well we've got a lot of morale and uh army supplies no reason to rush that all right Wudu. you can see the population here at Wudu is going up pretty rapidly now it's almost up to a million people living in Wudu, which is pretty awesome uh we could upgrade this to get more income from that i wonder like really like in the end what is the best way to build up your income i don't know let's go build this this will actually should i build this or this Give, this would give more income from commerce a leisure house let's build the leisure house first over there it's really nice if you have a city uh if you have a territory oh dude he-man <laughs> if you have a territory where one of your generals is or if you have a territory and it's like can't be attacked like jing cheng can't get attacked pretty much like maybe i could get attacked from dong min to the east oh well, it looks like we actually have a zing jans coming over here but uh my point is just that if you have a territory that's like really isolated that's a gift that is very nice to have that as an option for you uh so in that 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 i feel like alone makes it a lot easier to do these one of these campaigns or being attacked by this Liu Bei army. Um, they actually outnumber us. I'm going to try to retreat from this, actually. Let's see if I can get away. Looks like I can't. So we're going to have to fight this battle. Uh, a lot of militias. My men are not in great shape. Predicting a valiant defeat for us. This could be rough, man. This could be rough. Also, one of my generals is down and out right now. This is actually this this is actually very dangerous. Very, very dangerous for us. Oh, I couldn't have I couldn't have dreamed of a flatter map. <laughs> this is like whenever I I feel like whenever I attack, I get the most mountainous map you've ever seen. Whenever the AI attacks me, it's the flattest map you've ever seen. Explain that. All right, so my men are in really rough shape. Super rough shape. Uh, this is actually really bad. <laughs> Stand ready. I wonder if we can duel. Quick march. Dueling them might be a pretty good option here, actually. Maybe, right? Make haste. The time has come. Do none of them want to duel. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Look at my generals though, dude. This is Zhang Kai. I gotta say his it doesn't really look like him here, right? Doesn't not look like him. Attend. Gong Du looks pretty good. And these uh these yellow turban archers are max level i just realized uh we could be in a lot of trouble <sighs> we might be in a lot of trouble let's 
So none of these guys will even consider dueling. What about this guy? Yeah, I think they're just straight up not going to duel. <laughs> I think it's not going to happen. I think I'm going to have to do some crazy shit with my cavalry if I want a chance at winning this. Go send in my men. Let's go gang up on these generals. Go jump on these cavalry right over here. Okay, it looks like my generals are uh, fighting their generals. The sooner we can knock them out, the better. Gonna bring in my chanters over here. This appears like it's going pretty well. That militia of virtue just like disappeared somehow. Okay, my yellow turban horsemen are rear charging this unit of saber militia. Uh, we're also going to silence their archers here shortly. Uh, I thought we killed one of their generals. Looks like we did not actually. All right, wrapped up that fight. Let's go get those horsemen back in. Zankai's giving a rough go of it. Use that blinding fury. Right. Uh, I ran out of ammo. Trying to kill that general. Trying to kill any general I possibly can. So send these cavalry to go rear charge over there. Gong Du is chasing down that general. Zenkai is still fighting this guy. Wait, wait, who? What was that? What was that? I didn't see that. Somebody want a duel or something? Go bring this guy back. I don't know what that was. I don't see what I did. <laughs> I don't know if that was I don't know if that was something I did or what happened there. Alright, trying to bring this in here. Just buffed up my men. Got a big old mob going on over here. I think is that army losses? Yeah, it looks like army losses took over for them. The time has come. All right, Gong Du is chasing Ready. down some of their generals. Hopefully, we can kill these generals too. There's Gong Du. Kill him. He's right there. Kill him, Gong Du. You got your spear right there. All right. Uh, close battle, man. Even the even depleted these yellow turban are just still got like hundreds of kills. Uh, wow. Tough battle. Tough battle. Um, Yellow Turban Warriors, man. These guys, 148 kills on that one. Chanters probably did a really good job buffing everybody up. The Guardians of the Land held back. My, my Yellow Turban Horsemen did, did amazing. They did really well. All right, let's go ahead and claim victory. Heroic victory. You don't get those often in Three Kingdoms. <laughs> mm. I feel like a heroic victory should, like, give you something. 
Like if you win a heroic victory, you automatically get like a like a random legendary ancillary or something. That'd be really cool. Kick them in his face. Our faith was rewarded. 394 lost and we killed 1346. We captured Shu Hui Hui Ting. It says execute. Them dignity and death. And we captured Gao Sheng. He's, you know what? He's a nice guy. I tell you what, why don't we, we're going to let you go. They fought only for their beliefs. There you go. Get the hell out of here. I'll see you guys pretty soon when I take, when I take that territory from you. So we're actually at peace with the Han Empire right now. Okay, they're actually coming out at Jia Long. This is where we're besieging them. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, well, no, this is that word. They're coming out at Chengdu. This is the Jia Long faction. Should be an open field battle. Uh, let's take this. Let's do it. Here we begin. Let us fight to the end. Now. Draw your weapons. Battle is upon us. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. I'm ready. Bring on the battle, Ping Jun. I've got a, I've got a lot of... Uh, a lot of men that can get deployed. I really want to get like a really good, I want to get ambushes going. Like I really do. Ambushes are so cool. So I don't know where the enemy is. I guess the enemy, that's the, the allure of attacking is that you get to see where the men are. All right, let's uh, get everybody except those units. We're going to bring them down here in like this little ravine area. I swear I fought on a battlefield that looks exactly like this in a, in a different Bowman, campaign. Uh, let's go ahead and get our yellow turban swordsman as our center. Oh, let's get the yellow turban swordsman and the white wave veterans. I want to get, I really want to get those white wave veterans into battle. Put the chanters behind that. Get our Militia of Virtue in there, too. I want my cavalry over here on this little, like, hillock right there. So the idea here is that my archers on this hill will uh, be able to get some nice side shots in them as soon as I activate them. That's the idea. Because I already can tell you it's not going to work that way. But that's the idea. Sometimes the idea thought it's the thought that counts because <laughs> one day you never know might one day it might actually work out right, so they might wait up wait for their reinforcements to group up before they attack me but they are attacking and these men are still hidden I want to move right a little bit because I want to draw them away from my archers as much as I can. Probably as soon as they get close, they're going to get revealed, I would say, is, is the most likely outcome to this. So I guess whatever that does, it like maybe it immobilizes a lot of the a lot of the, their men or something. I guess. I'm not sure. But it also does it immobilize my men or does this just does it just immobilize everybody in there? I'm not sure. Okay, white wave horsemen are here. If we're gonna, if we're, our ambush is gonna work, we need to be a little bit more aggressive up front. We also can't advance too far. And slowly edging our way up. Hurry. 
I wonder if any of them would duel. This character cannot duel, doesn't want to duel, doesn't want to duel. Doesn't want to duel. Nobody wants to duel. What happened in the previous battle anyway? I wonder why we didn't get a duel off. So these guys are not on fire well. I'm going to wait because I don't want to reveal them too early. Hoping those men of the forest can get some cool kills. We'll see. I haven't really seen... If the men of the forest don't pay off, I'm going to switch them in with just some regular yellow turban archers, I think. If I didn't know any better, it really looks like they're heading directly for those men. But that could just be my imagination. <laughs> you know, call me crazy. It looks like they're heading directly for my hidden units. They're supposed to be hidden. Sure. Okay. Well, that ambush failed. Oh, uh, what's what's the point of an ambush? The AI, the AI knows. They know. They're not stupid. The AI absolutely 100% knows when your warrior ambush is. They don't care. Okay. Send those white waves in there. Uh, my cavalry here are just getting completely roasted because I lost attention because I was trying to deal with this bullshit. Yeah, those uh, men of the forest. I may just replace those men of the forest. The ambush idea is cool. It just doesn't actually work because the AI knows when you're going to ambush them. Which is just the reality. Like, they sent those horsemen. Like, what reason was there for, for them to go on top of this hill? There was no reason to go over there. They just, they just did that. They sent their men directly into there. Honestly, the AI used to do that in Shogun 2, where they just send enemies directly into it. Uh, they used to do that all the time. It's stupid, but it's true. Uh, let's go target this unit, please. All right, reinforcements are arriving. Uh, let's go pull back these white wave horsemen who are getting shot for nothing. Yeah, honestly, I think I'd be better served by more yellow turban archers than I would be by these these men of the forest. There's, there's plenty of units in Total War that are like fine theories. Like theoretically, that unit is awesome. Realistically, it's really hard to get them do what, what you cowards. want them to. to attention, move, move. This militia of virtue over there to go charge. Go, go, go. Time. Show no mercy. Make ready. Cavalry, attend. Destroy them. Kill right. them. Still fighting up here. Uh that general went up there for some reason. The men have no ammunition. We ran out of ammo Stand over ready. here. Let's go send in these chanters. Like the chanters, they're pretty fucking weak. They're really weak. They're not meant to be in combat. <laughs> it's not where they're supposed to be. Let's go send this general to go fight this guy. They're routing. They can't really duel here. And that guy, I guess strategists just can't duel. The enemy general is fallen. They were no match. All right. Ping Jun just killed that guy up in the woods somewhere. <laughs> that seems kind of bullshit, right? Why can't a strategist fight? He's a general. He's in an army. You think, you think the generals in these armies wouldn't be able to fight? Virtue is still out there racking him up. The 
The time has come. Strike! Prepare. Our healer dude is fighting this guy. Why? I feel like the yellow turban battles. I don't know if it's because of the, to the th of three kingdoms or something, but uh, they feel like a mess. I don't know. Every battle, every battle I do feels like a mess. That might be because of romance mode. It might be because of the yellow turbans. I don't know. But they all feel like a mess. Okay, that spear warrior is running away. We're trying to fight this Yao Wei guy. Oh, that guy got a massive buff because uh, we killed one of his relatives, I guess. Look, the enemy run. Craven. Yeah, we're gonna get the some more. I think we might get some yo some more regular yellow turban oh, archers. I think army losses is probably going to take over before too long. Uh, so that means victory is probably ours. Let's go ahead and use this m knowledge of the mind attack. Let's see, what do we got? Do it. Not bad, not bad. His G malicious got completely swarmed. Yeah, I wonder how many kills the Militia Virtue got 118 kills. It's really not bad. Uh, these Reclaimers got barely any kills, but they probably just didn't get into a good battle. These Spear Warriors. Uh, yeah, GG. A uh, crazy battle. Managed to win it. Um, killed some of their generals. Got a ton of kills. My horsemen got like almost a thousand kills between them. The men of the forest ambush was a complete failure. Don't bother doing that. Um, yeah. GG. Look at that. 186 kills on that one unit of yellow turban. And 150 on the other. That's That's a lot, dude. That's a lot. From the roots to heaven. 801 losses. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit. The task. Should be able to take Chengdu this turn. Okay. And promote. Another branch grows right. and sprouts. Ooh, Feng Yu. Oh shit, did this guy gain a hat? <laughs> Why did he, he gained a hat for some reason. <laughs> nice hat, man. Uh, everybody leveled up in this army. Let's go ahead and give them all their levels. Uh, this would give me flaming shots. Uh, that give me cunning, eight cunning. Commanding shout. Um, what is commanding shout? I guess it tells you right there. Uh, it's an active buff, speed, melee damage, melee armor piercing, and melee charge bonus. That sounds pretty sick, actually. Uh, more cunning would be nice. Plus well, 10% research rate, uh, rate would also be really nice. 1900% charge resistance. Woo. Oh, it's a passive buff? Wow, dude, these are ridiculous. Um, let's get the cunning for now. We got a lot of stuff to look forward to with this guy, Ping Jun. He's no joke. All right, Feng Yu leveled up. Is he still unhappy? Uh, he's actually pretty happy now. Uh, let's see. Knowledge of the body. So this is a heal. It can like super heal him. Interesting. Oh, so you can also target, you can heal other generals. I guess that's. I mean, they are healers, right? I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Plus 10 unit morale for the own retinue. That would be nice. 
10% army campaign movement range, 10% speed. That would also be nice. So I don't have any archers here, so this focus wouldn't be that great. Um, let's go ahead and get the speed, effortless flow. Let's get that for this guy. And Lu Zhu leveled up. Uh, is, he, is he only level two now? Minus 20% corruption, plus 20 satisfaction. How satisfied is he? The population is growing here. Not gladdening sign. Preach is an active buff, plus 50% armor, plus 15% melee. Condemn in melee. Engage in door has an attack order. 50% melee evasion, but 5,000 splash damage. And this would give more cunning range damage and range piercing. Uh, Tranquility would allow him to heal over time, which would be cool. Let's give him this one, I think. It's going to be a buff for the soldiers and the army that he can use. Shot Fury. All right. Uh, what do we gain here? Devious attendant and a clay cup. Okay. Oh, shoo. He is back from being wounded. All right. Let's go take Chengdu. They should have. Yeah, they have nothing to oppose us anymore. Let's go ahead and delegate this one out. Victory is proof okay. of approval. Uh, captured an officer. Anyway, we're gonna release you because we're a nice guy. They fought only for their beliefs. And we'll occupy. Promote, sure. Promote, sure. Oh, we got a new sword. Cool. I wonder who can use that. Build in battle, uncommon talent, uncommon Welcome, talent. My lord. All right, we can repair Chengdu. So this one gives me 1.3 thousand. Yeah, I think we want to keep using that for sure. Okay, we'll keep using that for now. All right, so we're actually doing really well, I feel like. Um, I guess these areas, Chengdu, Armor Craftsman, and Jiang Yang, like, these are all just empty. I guess there's nothing there. Like, nobody owns them. Uh, this guy is back. He was... So, he was wounded, but he's still, like... He's back in the in the army. He's just not quite, like, ready yet. Does that make sense? So, uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, hang on. First, let's go over here to this army. One sec. Let's go replace these men of the forest... It says they are rank seven, but I just don't like them very much. Yeah, that's a guerrilla deployment. Ignore ground type. That's all really, that's all cool. It's a fine theory, but I just think that these uh, yellow turban archers are just better and they have less upkeep over time. Can you recruit anything new? No, that guy's still too low level to recruit anything. Oh, shit. I, I keep forgetting. I need to get one of these war bands. Oh, man. All right. Let's go do that. So we got these white wave veterans. We're going to go recruit. We're going to go swap this out. Let's go get this. Hang on. We're going to get this people's war band. Virgin Crafts and Armor with looted sabers and armor fueled by a righteous fury against injustice. They have a lot of melee power, man. Let's get one of those guys. Okay. All right, this army is going to re, uh, retrain for a bit at Chengdu. Calling, and we've got Chengdu here and here to take. Still not at war with um, the Han Empire, so we're not going to fuck with that. Fox and uh, what about this army here? Oh, don't disband. This is the army where I got to send Zhang Kai. I got to get Zhang Kai out of here because I need to get I need to get like he Yi is who I need. Before we do any of that, we definitely got to go take Shang, Shang Yong. Destroy corruption. All right. We're going to put this these guys I in the lumberyard for now. How fair the people. They're going to retrain pretty fast, all things considered. Um, This guy's also recovering. I, I definitely want to keep this guy out of battle for sure. Uh, a part of me is tempted to try to get He Yi in here. Welcome, my lord. Your presence is heartening. 
call the selected retinue. I have to get a whole new army. Let's just do it. We have a lull. Let's just do it. All right, we recall we recalled Zhang Kai. I want to get this guy, man. <laughs> He's level four. All right, let's get him. The yellow sky All right. He Yi, legendary general. We'll get Zhang Kai back too. So we have a healer, a scholar, and a veteran. Uh, so the reason why I did that is I really want to have all the different kinds of units here. So um there were units i could never get in this army without getting a healer here so i feel like that was the right choice to make because now i can actually get white wave horsemen and all other kinds of units here um zankai was a really good general though we'll have to get him back later i definitely will all right let's trade in some of these units oh didn't i have what did I have? He was like, Zankai was in charge of the archers, right? Who should be in charge of the archers now? <laughs> I mean, I guess I could get rid of these yellow turban spearmen that Gong Nu has. Put some archers here. These yellow turban spearmen are not particularly good anyway. Archers. Archers. Three units of archers. Welcome so what exactly? How can I help? Healers are really good at inspiring and fighting at range. So it would probably make sense, but they, you can't get any archers as a healer. So what does that make any sense? <laughs> I can't get a lot of cavalry with this guy though. So that's pretty cool. What about this guy? This guy can also get some archers. Let's go replace this unit of yellow turban warriors uh with archers oops not that one that one's level five all right this is gonna take a second let's go replace this one with yellow turban archers this is gonna cost me like all my money just because i wanted to get the other units in here all right um i should probably replace these horsemen too with like another unit of infantry here or something right or like maybe a unit of these reclaimers or something um so that's that's right now i have five units of archers coming in that's a lot of archery power uh i've got what are my units of spears i've got like no units of spears i've got these two guardians of the land a unit of spears might be nice can you get reclaimers or anything no you can't so, okay, let's actually cancel one of these. Sorry, this is going to take a second. We're going to cancel one of those. We're going to make this one another unit of reclaimers. So we have two units of spears. Uh, let's make this yellow turban warrior here a un another unit of archers. So now what we need in this unit in, in He Yi, what we need are cavalry and... Um, Cavalry and melee is what we need. And I have no money to do that. <laughs> uh, I can get at least one unit of these uh, horsemen. It's going to be really... It's, money is tight right now. Money is very tight. All right. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to do it later. For now, let's get some people's war bands. Uh, I'm going to replace that and I'm going to replace this peasant archer here. With another people's war band. I really want to try those guys out. All right. So that like fucking tanked all of my money. <laughs> but I need I feel like I needed to balance that out real hard. You know? Um, so now they got veteran healer scholar. That's the combo you want. I think veteran healer scholars. You can get all the different kinds of, of units. All right. I have zero money. 
Got like no money. So let's go ahead and end a turn. I need to go attack Shang Yong just so I can get some get some money, man. I need that moolah. Honestly, pretty peaceful over here. Not a lot going on. <laughs> well, shit. I am at your disposal. Man. Aren't we a rebellion? We we have to pay your soldiers even when you're on a rebellion, huh? <laughs> God damn it. So we're suffering attrition because of because of everything. It's the army upkeep. My army is too ridiculous. All right. My lord, how can I serve? So, who's got to go? My lord, I answer your request. I mean, this guy, I guess this guy's got to go, right? Let's uh lord, recall this retinue. I hope all is well. All right. Income's positive now. Oh, that sucks. And this game at the beginning is like... Oh, I didn't realize, but the Yellow Turban Rebellion now owns Onding. I did not realize that. China is people. All right, nothing I can do about that. At least Gongdu, I guess I just expanded too much. I think, you know what's funny is I don't even have this army. I basically threw away all of the cavalry in this army for nothing. It's pretty much what I did. This army now has no cavalry. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. I guess let's end another turn, right? Oh, I have a new tech. Let's go get a new tech. Is there anything that will boost my money? <laughs> like a lot? What's the what's the tech that gives me 5 million monies? Uh, satisfaction for veterans. Uh, and unlocks a unit this is post battle all right let's get this one confiscate belongings sure it's gonna give me more loot from battles Serve the people. and let's end a turn definitely one of the quirks of playing as this faction i feel like it's just like i don't know if all these territories are really poor or if i just do a terrible job managing my economy <laughs> past experience says well, <laughs> game recommends you increase campaign difficulty. Well, this this happened once before, guys. This happened once before, remember? Sure. Confirm. All right. <laughs> this happened once before to us, if you remember. I guess we're going to let ourselves get fooled again. All right. Uh, let's see. I am at your disposal. So all my armies are retraining because they got super fucked up from the attrition and just all the fighting I was doing. So it's going to take a minute before these guys are all good to go. Uh, really, there's like no fighting I can even do right now. Uh, I don't want to fight up here. This army is really weak. All that so I could get he. -yi. Um, let's see. He's using the family spear. You give him a new follower. A new follower give him more cunning. Authority. Um, I guess we'll give him the officer. And that gives him expertise. 10% campaign movement range. I guess I'll keep him using that. All right. We're going to end the turn. Need my guys to retrain quick. We can get out there and take Shang Yong and keep fighting. Let's see that Han Empire army finally ran away. I wonder what triggers the AI recommending you should like do that, right? All right, Huang Shao has been destroyed. Oh, we can now recruit Huang Shao too. I, I can't afford him, but I can recruit him. <laughs> 
This Huang Xiao, uh, he is, uh, what's it called? He's a scholar, I think. Bend. Do not break. Like, theoretically, I could, I could replace Shu He with Huang Xiao. I've learned my lesson, though. I don't want to do that just yet. I don't think... We go to the court. I don't think they're going anywhere. I think they'll be fine. So we should be all right. Seems like everybody hates Fa Yuan. Can I like switch him out? Duty may bestow or deprive one from office. Right. Confirm. Let's put a he ye in there. All right. That actually made he ye happy. But now they're not. Now Zhang Kai and him are angry. Ah, whatever. We did make he ye a little bit happier, though. So that's nice. Kind of bending over backwards for this he ye guy. <laughs> But I think he'll be worth it in the end. Um, we'll get Zeng Kai his very own army that he can lead around and run around on the battlefield for. Ooh, check it out. Wudu is about to pass a million population. It's unfortunate I just have zero income or money to do anything about that. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of retraining everywhere. Let's get let's go ahead and end another turn. I wonder if I could, like, make peace with somebody and get... Like, I can't get any more trade, right? I don't think I could do that, but... <sighs> like, my income is just so pathetic. <laughs> like, look at that, man. <laughs> it's so pathetic. It's the army upkeep is just murdering me. Okay, Kai Mao is now at war with me, too, I guess. Sure, add it to the list. Uh, let's see. We can unlock new buildings. None of this really matters, though. Right? Because I can't build anything anyway. More food from farming. Construction costs for agriculture. How much would this take? Six turns. It's a bit much. Plus 5% income from industry. Uh, 20 enlightenment minus 20% construction costs. Five satisfaction. Promote wisdom. Let's get the public order. I'm gonna get that. That won't take too long to research either. You grant me a kindness in calling, my lord. All right. Actually, looks like Gong Du is ready to go. Let's go attack Shang Yong. No effort will achieve this. this will not happen. Oh shit. Motherfucking Zhang Fei is here. We're also apparently we're at war with Liu Bao Biao as well. We're just we're just at war with every goddamn human there is. And we have so little money, it is absurd. Thankfully we have these um so these mountainous areas for choke points. Alright, so we've got Zhang Fei. Uh, Zhang Fei is here. Everybody's favorite. What kind of map do we got? Actually, a town. Part of me wants to try starving them out. Part of me also wants to attack. Hmm. Night battle would lower their morale. All right, let's go ahead and start this battle. I was I was debating. Honestly, I wasn't debating whether I wanted to attack. I was debating whether I wanted to put it in this episode or not. <laughs> All of China will benefit from our success. Let's do it. Our foes must be crushed. The crisp, fresh air portends a clean victory. Now, draw your weapons. We will see. Archers, prepare. All right, so I have a lot of archers now. Take heed, warriors. 
Um, we're going to try to... No. Okay, I still do have fire arrows. Wait. Oh, that's why. Okay. All right, are we back? I think we're back. Okay. Just had to get in one last audio crash before the night was over. All right, let's resume. All right, I've got my dudes right here. I wish I had some kind of uh, shield wall would be so nice. All right, we're gonna use these guys to set fire to the settlement real fast. And these guys will draw their fire. All right, let's start the battle. Let's go ahead and burn this. That's burning. Let's go shoot this one. Okay, that's burning. Let's go shoot that one now. That's burning. Go shoot this one now. Okay, everything is burning. Pull back. Pull back. Time to get out. All right, so all this settlement damage will be a huge hit to their morale. Go pull these men back. We didn't take... I don't think we took that many losses. We definitely took losses, but not that many. All right, I want to check these units out. So we got He Yi has now joined our army. There he is. He's got a big, a big badass sombrero. <laughs> uh, ooh, one with the people, 15 morale. I wonder if we could duel. Survive for, holy shit, survive. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, let's see. We got our people's war bands right here. Oh shit, dude. These guys are fucking badass. Look at these guys. That's sick. All right, so we got our new units over there. Um, and we got He Yi. Also got Oath Sworn, too. I wonder how uh, Shu He would fare. It says relative strength similar. Winner effect, you get 100% melee damage. Dude, would you fucking duel me, bitch? Where is he? This is similar strength. You are equal. You are equal. You are equal. Interesting. I kind of want to go send this guy. Hang on. I think I don't want to get shot by your... Well, the towers are gone, right? All right. We're going to try to send in Shu He. Oh, get him. Oh, shit. Get him, Shu He. Oh man, Shu He versus Zhang Fei. Oh man, I don't know, dude. It is fucking Zhang Fei, right? We have the Oath Sworn. That's ten. Well, I guess it doesn't really help that much. It does give me more morale. Oh, we are losing. We're losing a lot. <laughs> Uh, I think Shu He's in a lot of trouble. Oh, is he still wounded? Oh, that's probably why. Oh my god, I forgot he was wounded. <laughs> what if I run away?
Uh. I am outmatched. Run away. Retreat might be best. Run. You win, Zhang Fei. <laughs> oh, is he running too? Oh, I didn't mean to shoot him. That seems unfair. Don't do that. Stop. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't want Zhu. I didn't real. I forgot Zhu He was fucking wounded. I forgot about that. That's a shame. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Turn these guys off of that. <laughs> All right. So a lot of their settlement is burning. I don't see a lot of archers in this area. We actually, so he had rival that actually helped him a lot too. Ah, whatever. Who cares? As long as Shuhi didn't die, what difference does it make? All, right, all their towers are destroyed. Let's go ahead and bring up my archers. We're going to take them off skirmish and off of fire at will for now. All right, let's go get He Yi up here. Maybe He Yi or Gong Du might have actually won, right? Okay, uh, let's see. What do we got here? People's warbands are going this way. I'm going to go send uh, these units, these guardians of the land. I'm going to send them that way. What is that? Oh, that's inspired. Oh, wow. That's inspired by he. So just having he around does that. All right, let's actually move up here and we're going to pop them into fire at will. And we'll get a nice spread of archer fire just everywhere. Okay. Uh, let's go move these guardians of the land slightly forward. Let's go get our chanters ready to go in behind them. Let's get Gong Du over here. The enemy unit flees. What cowards! Uh, let's go try to duel this guy. Yeah, fuck yeah. Steal yourself. So he Yi is off fighting this guy now. Gao Sheng. I think we should kick that guy's ass. Alright, we're gonna go send these in here. Right, let's go charge here. Charge. And we'll keep the chancers back. People's war bands are coming in. The enemy run. I think he is just about to kill this guy. Kill him, he ye. All right, Guardians of Land are in here. Let's go send Gong Du to go fight this guy. All right, Gong Du is actually going to fight that guy in single combat. Looks like He Yi has pretty much won this battle. Yeah, He Yi won that one. I guess he ran. This guy ran away. Yeah, he just ran off. Oh no, there he goes. I guess my archers got him. <laughs> All right, they got a whole, all their generals went down, I think, and they're pretty sure we killed all of them. Did my peasant archers not get a single kill? Oh, they're off fire at will. Well, that would explain a lot, wouldn't it? 
oh you know we never we're fighting under these towers there's two sets of towers here uh we never actually burned those other ones we probably should have burned those too let's see so we're gonna take some heavy losses there unfortunately kill him gong do kill him that people's war band is dropping very fast oh there you go good job gong do well, we killed a whole bunch of their generals Here, go drop some fire Archers arrows. Maybe they'll route. Rain down missiles. Our men have no ammunition. They cannot fire. Oh, where are my reclaimers at? Where'd they end up? Oh, I, f I forgot to use them. Gong Du's kind of running amok in here. Flaming shot coming down. Go use this ability right here. And yeah, my people's war bands ate shit. Uh, I'm really, honestly, I'm really missing that Zankai guy. That that was probably a really bad move just because I wanted he. -Yi. <laughs> probably wasn't worth it in the end. Okay, Guardians of Land are still giving him hell. Oh, I think Gong Du is just kind of going crazy here, isn't he? Here, go send He Yi over here. Um, that'd be nice. It would also give you... Oh, it gives you immune to fatigue? Wow, interesting. Wow, he he is actually really crazy. Holy shit. I did not realize. Okay. Kind of a super bloody battle here against Liu Bei. Um, I also threw in my wounded general against Zhang Fei, and he lost the duel. <laughs> that probably wasn't the best decision. But uh, we did it. We won. Justice cannot be denied. Oh, it says they're uninjured. Maybe I was fucked up. I don't know. <gasps> we captured Zhang Fei. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, bud. Afraid, uh, afraid that's it. It's the end of the road. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be too happy about that. <laughs> hey, we just gained. Oh, dude, that's like the perfect timing. And we gained the Serpent Spear. All right. Well pretty sure they're really not happy with me about that all right we gained eight thousand money for that wow and he well we had he Yi for a turn and he's already hurt uh so let's see this would give me a higher could do that maybe i'll give that to he Yi instead he Yi just got injured 40 percent melee attack rate uh, let's see. Passive recovery, 3% income faction wide. Enables unbreakable 10 morale when defending, when commanding. 10% armor piercing damage, 10% melee damage, 5% replenishment. This enables encourage. Uh, this is 40% and 10%. Um, let's go with the zeal. Let's go with that one. And, uh, let's see, do I have another general somewhere? So I'm obviously waiting for him to recover. 
I don't know how I have any money in this campaign, like, at all. I don't know where I get the money from. Let's give this guy Ping Jun. We're going to give him the Serpent Spear instead. That's Zhang Fei's spear. Tell you what, feels good to kill Zhang Fei in this campaign, man. You grant me a kindness in calling, my lord. Uh, income is still toilet. That hasn't changed. Somebody else leveled up? Oh, it looks like Gong Du also leveled up. Uh, let's see. We could give him precision, 8% expertise, 10% armor, ranged armor, piercing damage, and then 10% ranged firing rates. That'd be pretty nice. 10% range armor, piercing damage, 10% range damage. Uh, 3% income from industry. That enables mighty knockback. Either one would be good. Uh, that's just his own retinue. This would be the entire army. Let's go with precision. That'll apply to the whole army. All right, took Shang Yong. Let's see if does anybody wants peace or anything. What do we got? Take a look at the quick deals. Does anybody want peace? Liu Bei wants peace. Uh, let's see. Let's go talk with Liu Bei. And then this will be the last thing we do. Let's see Liu Bei. Peace. They're at plus 17.5 for that. Uh, can we get some money? No, no, no. You give me money. I need this money. <laughs> All right, we're going to take some peace. We're going to take peace from Liu Bei and we're going to fleece him for all the money we can get. Oh, that's all the money we can get? Just 5.5? We could request some food too, I guess. Oh, they really don't like that. It's funny how much they value food. All right. I think that might be all we can do. All right. Well, we can get 2,220, uh, 2,234 out of this so i feel like we should do that as it is all right so we're now at peace with liu bay we gained a little bit more money oh man we're just going to be struggling for every we're going to be nickel and diming everybody here aren't we what about liu ba biao i really i'd rather not get pulled into a war with this guy Let us get this over with. They really don't want peace. They really don't want it. Okay, who am I at war with? I'm at war with Liu Biao, Kai Mao, Yu Min Shang, and Liu Dai. Where where are these people? Liu Dai is way over there. Yu Min Shang is in the southwest. We're dealing with them now. We're not at war with Han Sui. I don't even know where Han Sui is. So really our major enemies at the moment is just Liu Biao. Uh, and in the south, the southwest. Uh, we're going to go have to deal with that. Maybe we can go attack Chengdu soon. Uh, we're going to need... So we have a healer, a veteran. We're going to need a scholar in this army. Um, veteran, veteran, veteran. Yeah, where is it? Yeah, the scholar. A scholar like this guy, Zhao Chen. Something like that we're going to need. Um... But that'll have to all wait. Oh, maybe. You know what? Hang on. Hang on. Wait a minute. Wang Xiao. 55? 55 fucking years old? This guy's, this guy's old as shit, man. What about like He-Man? Whatever happened with He-Man? Look at all these guys I have. <laughs> so ridiculous. I don't know if I want to hire the 55-year-old dude. Like He's going to be worthless to me. Like, he's a good general, don't get me wrong, but he's fucking, he's going to die any turn. That's the way this game works. Anyway, this episode has, has gone absurdly long. Let's uh, save our game. This has been a long episode. We are currently at 47 turns. Uh, you can see we've actually got a really decent chunk of territory in this northwest, uh, in this northwest part of the map. Still fighting, uh, well, well, we're still fighting in the southwest area, trying to consolidate there. Uh, the north, we've got Zheng Jiang approaching. I do not trust Zheng Jiang at all. 
and things are heating up against in the east. Although we did just we did just conclude the war with Liu Bei for now, but Liu Biao is there. Liu Biao has been pretty rough in my experience. He's not somebody you want to take lightly. So probably need to keep that in mind. Anyway, you can see we've already made this is turn seven. This is turn forty seven. We've already made some pretty good progress, uh, and we're kind of making moves as we go. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this campaign. This campaign has been uh, a lot of fun for me so far. A whole bunch of fun. Hope you guys are also enjoying it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.